Running a business requires an agile communication system that you can use for both outbound and inbound customer contact, as well as communication between colleagues. This is where VoIP really shines. Voice over internet protocol is an internet-based telephony technology that allows you to completely avoid the glut of old school landlines. VoIP is loaded with features. And in this guide, we're gonna help you understand what the technology is all about. Hey everyone, this is Corey McCraw, the VoIP and UCAS subject matter expert at Fit Small Business. For beginners, VoIP can be very confusing, which is why we created this guide so you can understand this technology better. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you can find a full written rundown of the, te of the technology linked in the description box. VoIP lets you make and receive calls over the internet, which makes a high-speed connection absolutely essential. But a lot goes on behind the scenes to ensure that you have a seamless experience. Here's the step-by-step -step process for internet-based calling. This is the call initiation stage. One of my favorite aspects of VoIP is how versatile it is. You can literally make calls on your preferred device. This includes your smartphone through an app, a cell phone, which can be used via a desktop or a laptop, or through a desk phone, which has the size and shaping of traditional landline office device. Most providers even make it a seamless experience to exchange calls between devices. Once your call is initiated, the connection is made through either your office internet service or through your wireless carrier. While some services do require you to have a carrier set up, Many will work through a Wi-Fi or Ethernet wired signal so that you don't have to already have a connection. VoIP isn't just internet to internet. The person receiving your call can be on a landline, cellular, or internet-based connection. You can reach out to them if they are using a virtual phone number through a VoIP carrier. When it comes to the underlying technology, VoIP first changes your voice into data packets that are transmitted over the internet. While changing your voice to data and then transmitting it might seem like it would take time, the process actually takes milliseconds, even if you're calling from across the globe. Effectively, any call made will take place in real time. You won't notice any lag or slowdown unless your internet connection is slow. As I mentioned, VoIP uses data packets to transmit your voice to your recipient. Still, it needs to use a system that will help each receiver, which are called endpoints, communicate. To do this, VoIP technology uses a set of rules called protocols to ensure devices can talk to each other. It routes data across the networks and converts them to the appropriate signal based on IP addresses and transport protocols. When it comes to the most basic aspect of VoIP, you'll most likely always run into the Session Initiation Protocol, or SIP. This signaling protocol is the most general purpose technology inherent in VoIP and allows for the transmission of multimedia packets between groups of endpoints. Because they're so versatile, SIP sessions can not only send bit voice packets but video packets as well, which is why many VoIP providers offer video conferencing capabilities. RTP works alongside SIP so that each endpoint can stream both audio and video media in real time. This is simply a set of dedicated protocols for transmitting voice, video, and data. It's an older technology than SIP and is widely used in IP-based video conferencing. The transmission control protocol works alongside both RTP and SIP TCP is oriented towards data connections, so it has to first ensure that a connection is made before data is transmitted. As a result, TCP tends to be on the slightly slower side. Still, to reduce the impact of packet loss, TCP is a good protocol since it actually allows for the retransmission of data packets. The user datagram protocol, or UDP, is far more common than TCP because it doesn't require a connection and doesn't have any overhead for maintaining or terminating one. There's also no inherent error checking. As a result, UDP is comparatively fast and very efficient. Outside of price, one of the chief reasons that VoIP stands out is due to its features. Rather than having to finagle various calling features from a landline provider, many VoIP providers bundle in a wide array of default functionalities. Here are a few to consider. While many take this feature for granted, it's amazing how many quality of life additions are available for most VoIP providers. With VoIP, it's easy to find features like voicemail to text and visual voicemail, so that you have an easy way to interface with your messages. VoIP systems also allow you to access your voicemail through your favorite endpoint, be it an IP phone, soft phone app, or an analog phone with an analog telephone adapter. Also, your provider will ensure interoperability with other features. For example, 
If your service has an auto attendant or interactive voice response system, IVR, you may add a phone menu option like press 5 to leave a voicemail. Here, you can see the interface offered by Rank Central. Auto attendants provide your company with a means to correctly route customers to the right department. There are also fine-tuning features that allow you to route according to your schedule or office hours. It's best to think of an auto attendant as a digital receptionist. As you can see from the example, which comes from GoToConnect, you can completely customize your auto attendant to provide as many menu options as possible for your customers. Advanced systems support multiple auto attendants and submenus. Omnichannel IVR systems work with your auto attendant to gather customer details, like their account number, before your employee picks up the line. In most cases, you'll be able to record and upload custom greetings or use a tool to transcribe your text announcement into a voice greeting. Depending on your provider, VoIP provides basic to advanced analytic reporting options. This allows you to look at historical data as well as real-time info about your communication stack. This also allows you to monitor things like customer sentiment, set your schedules, and adjust call flow for better customer service. Some providers specialize in delivering key performance indicators so that you can tweak your business communications performance. You also have the option to schedule reports and send them directly to others through email. Some analytics that you can drill down into include the status of call queues, company phone numbers, individual users or departments, device status, call quality, and custom KPIs. By now, most business users have heard of Salesforce, which is just one type of customer relationship management solution. Most first or second tier of VoIP plans allow for CRM integration, so that customer data will automatically pop up when contact is made. This type of integration also provides a single solution for both outreach and data delivery, so that your agents won't have to manage custom, customer information in one application while calling on another. This is an example of Nextiva CRM integration, which is extensive. Call monitoring is typically considered a contact center feature, but it's also a handy feature for companies that just want to create optimized customer interactions. This feature helps to, you deliver consistent, high quality experiences and identify training opportunities. Call monitoring tools also reduce onboarding time by allowing employees to take calls while you listen in and guide them as needed. Here's a quick screenshot of RingCentral's monitoring UI. Standard features include monitoring, agent whisper, which you use to send messages to your employees, call bars so that you can take over a call, and call recording. Conferencing is a major consideration for most businesses, especially when you need to talk to multiple customers simultaneously or when you need to have virtual team huddles. This feature is especially gaining traction as more businesses switch to a work from home paradigm. Both audio and video conferencing provides value, but when seeking a VoIP provider, know that each has varying capacities. For example, GoToConnect, who you see in the image, has a maximum participant count of 250 attendees, but other providers may limit your team to 25. An increasing number of businesses are shifting away from the physical phone which is why VoIP's ability to work off of software is so advantageous. Software apps turn any compatible internet-connected device into a VoIP phone. Download the application on your desktop computer, laptop, cell phone, or tablet. From there, make and receive calls using your preferred device. Most features are readily available through the software, and you're able to save money on investing in IP phones or analog telephone adapters. Now that you're a bit more familiar with some of VoIP's most useful features, Let's take a look at the advantages and disadvantages of the technology. VoIP brings the omni-channel into reality. Unlike landlines, you can reach your customers where they prefer to be reached. For example, most providers like RingCentral, Nextiva, and Dialpad allow you to make VoIP calls, but also allow you to video conference and text as well. Some providers like Nextiva also allow you to even reach out via social media. All these points of contact are managed via a single platform, so it's easy to track customer interactions. Thanks to its cloud-based nature, VoIP typically costs much less than on-premise-based communication solutions or landlines. In addition, since the hardware is managed by the provider, there's no need to provision cash for things like upkeep and upgrades. This is all managed by your VoIP company. Want to add or remove users? No worries. Simply make the change in your online admin portal for instant results. 
your team doesn't have to update software or troubleshoot infrastructure issues because your VoIP provider handles it all from their end. VoIP is cheaper than traditional landlines when it comes to international calling. This is due to the fact that VoIP doesn't need to use the inter intercontinental copper lines to connect with your, you with your customers. There are plenty of muted VoIP providers like RingCentral and Nextiva that will provide you a very reasonable rate for calling hundreds of countries. But in addition to this, providers like 8x8, UMA, and GoToConnect have completely unmuted plans so that you can call overseas frequently. Many providers also provide international numbers so that your global customers can reach you overseas without calling out of their country. This provides a means to expand your business without investing in local offices. VoIP's advanced features include AI assistance, call forwarding to your favorite device, and more niche features like paging service integration and built-in team collaboration tools. Still, VoIP does have its disadvantages. If you're looking to make internet calls, your connection will have to be able to support them. Likewise, if you're using a VoIP provider and you lose internet or electricity for that matter, you won't be able to make calls. If you have an office that's relied on a standard plain old telephone service, then you may have to upgrade your hardware for VoIP. This will require you to replace your landline phones with IP phones, soft phones on computers or smartphones, or purchase analog telephone adapters to bring your landline phones to your VoIP service. You also have the option to purchase a VoIP gateway, which is an affordable solution if you only have a few desk phones and fax machines. With VoIP, you're sending your data over the internet, and anyone living in a digital age knows how risky that can be. Data packets sent by VoIP can be intercepted by cyber criminals, which is why encryption is critical. Both encryption and transit and net rest are needed for VoIP. So make sure that your provider is delivering all of the security features you need to keep your data safe. VoIP subscriptions range from less than $10 per user per month to more than 100. However, the price varies amongst providers, payment models, and individual packages. VoIP costs may increase for higher tier plans with advanced features like voice intelligence or interactive voice response systems. In addition, most providers offer several discounts. For example, major VoIP providers like RingCentral, Grasshopper, and Nextiva offer annual discounts so that paying by the year is cheaper. Some providers also grant volume-based pricing structures so that your service becomes cheaper as you grow. You may know the answer to what is VoIP, but do you know how it differs from a landline? Check out our guide to compare landlines to VoIP. If you're ready to take the next step, sign up for a free trial with a small business VoIP service and start taking business calls from almost anywhere.